Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another video here in Doom Dune. And I want to give a thank you to Joe for making this new overlay. So that way our Doom Dune videos look really, really nice. Very happy for that. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So guys, we were able to manage to get peace with our enemy here. It's early in the kingdom, so we want to give everybody time to grow. A lot of people were quitting and it was just getting ugly. So, you know, um, shout out to WCF for, you know, working out a little peace agreement to let people grow. Then we can have a little bit of fun battling and everything. That's but you definitely don't want to kill everyone off before you even get to battle because, you know, like I've always said, there's only one thing worse than losing, and that's to win easily. You want to have at least some competition so that way you don't just waste your money and time. So let's go ahead and take a look today while we have a little bit of time um, without battling. Let's take a look at the troop types in this game. So I need to finish upgrading all the T6s as well. Let's go ahead and get that started real quick. Actually, I don't want to do that because then I can't look at them. So. The game's a little different than a lot of games, guys. You unlock troops every four levels, and then you unlock different troop types at different levels. So for instance, here's the T6 Axe Warrior, okay? This is like your frontline uh, swordsman, this is your tank. Now, if you click this button right here, it takes you to your highest level of the other troop type in that building. So this is like the Spearman or the Pikeman or the Cavalry Killer. You can see it's got more of the higher attack, less defense and HP, but it's more of a cavalry counter, so you can switch back and forth. Now, you can see here at level 19, I unlocked the T6 Axe. At level 20, I unlock, or wait, yeah, let me go here. Boom, so you gotta switch back and forth to see the different troop types. If I, you look here, unlock um, at the house towards level 20, um, and I have to complete the research fielded uh, striker. So, basically, it's gonna change every time um, you get a new level, you're gonna be able to unlock a new uh, troop type. So I actually like this a lot. I think, um, you know, having an extra incentive to go that one extra castle level because before, you know, going from level 19 and 24 is a really big deal and it's very difficult to do. But going from level 19 to 20 is doable. I just did it, for example. I'm upgrading to level 20 right now. So it's going to give people more incentive to just keep grinding so you can unlock that next troop type. So like I said, right there is the um, spearmen. So you get them at level level five, get them at level six, get them level seven. So level six, you unlock at 20, 25. Then here you unlock this one at level 30. Then this one at um, F2, one, that's a, that's a big boy, the Prince Guard. So you got them at level six, level 19, get them at level 24. So these are the front line, level 29, and then Epic two. So that is the levels um, of the infantry. Let's go ahead and get into the levels of the cavalry right here. So let's take a look at the troops, right? So you got your cavalry archer, and then you've got your regular cavalry. So this is your cavalry, goes behind your frontline infantry, um, both troop types. Then after that is your frontline cavalry. That's more, you know, the beefier troop that's going to have the higher defense, higher HP, and all of that good stuff. And then next you can see the elite dragoon. It is basically a cavalry archer, and I'll unlock my next level, I believe, uh, yeah, level, once I get that to level 16, which I'll do next, um, but then after that, you can see level 20, which is what I'm going to get it to now. I'm going to get all my buildings level 20 before I go up, because level 20 will unlock the second troop type in each building, so that's my goal right now, is to stay at level 20, get everything to level 20, then I'll go to level 24. So let's take a look at the next one, you can see Royal Dragoon. Level 25, then you've got the Imperial at level 30. Then at um, Epic 2 um, dash 1, you get the uh, Mountain Bowman. Okay, so that's the Cavalry Archer that is behind the um, behind the Sworded um, Cavalry. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Archer now. So you can see, okay, so you got Crossbows, which are the long range ones. You can see they have an attack range of 10. And you've got the, wow. The short bow in this game, a little bit differently, have a longer range, which is very interesting. In most games, they don't. Let's take a look at the HP. Okay. Okay. So you got level 5 on each of these. And you can, if you notice, in this game, the crossbowmen have the higher HP and lower attack. Very interesting. They have the same defense. But that's very interesting how they have a lower range and they have a um, 
and they have more HP and less uh, less attack. That's different from all games, guys, that we've ever played. So you have to pay attention to that. So I'm gonna play around with the archer and see kind of what what they do. I just accidentally trained some, so let me go ahead and finish that out. Just gonna take a look at what the other ones are. So for the longbows, you got uh, rangers. Uh, Rifleman, that's pretty cool. So, you actually unlock gunpowder in this game. You got the Imperial Assassin with a pistol. And then you got a Merc, okay. And then you got, um, uh, Epic 4-4. Then Epic 2, so you got an extra level of Archer, which is pretty interesting, because you didn't have that in the Infantry and Cavalry. So, that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the crossbow. At level 20, I'll be unlocking um, that one. Then you get the Royal at level 25. The Imperial at level 30. Epic 2 to 1. And then Epic um, 5, you get the King. So that's pretty cool. Let's go take a look at the House of Iron, which is the um, cannons and everything like that. And it should be Rams, I believe. Yes, and then you have Rams as well. So there's a T5 Ram. Um, here's the cannon, so let's take a look at the cannon line. At level 24, you'll get the Hellfire. Imperial at 29. You can tell the theme, you know, between the cannon and the ram. And then you've got the Prince here at, uh, Epic 2. Then you get the King Cannon at 4-4, four four four, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at the ram. Alright, so you get the ram here. Then at level 20, you get the Elephant Ram. That's pretty cool. Then you get the uh, Tower at level 25. Pretty typical. You get the big Elephant Ram. Or, whoa. That's interesting. So you get an actual Elephant Cannon for your Ram category with the high HP that you can put up front at level 30. I definitely want to unlock those. That, was, that looks so awesome. Then you've got the uh, Mountain Ram here at level um, epic 2 to 1. Then at Epic 5, you get the big boy Elite Ram. Let's go take a look, and maybe I missed the last level in the infantry and stuff. Let's go take a look. Okay, yeah, there are an Epic 4-4 on the, uh, Hal on the Halberdier. Okay. So then I'm guessing on the sword, you have the same. Yep. Epic 5, you get the Elite Sword. So, those are all the different troop types in Doom Dooms, everybody. If you want to play, the links to the play are in the description down below. Thank you, Doom Dooms, for sponsoring this video series. I'll see you guys in the next one. You already know it. Team Big Dreamer, smash the thumbs up button.